Let's welcome in general manager of the Stanley Cup champion, Vegas Golden Knights, Kelly McCroon. How does that sound, Kelly? Well, sounds good. Feels good. So uh, thanks, uh, Nick. Thanks for having me. And, uh, yeah, it's been, uh, uh, you know, quite a week. Um, just between the final whistle of uh, the clinching game and up until now, can you just give us a general feel for what it's been like for you? Um when it happens, uh, at least my experience is that it's uh, uh, you're not ready for what it is. It, you think you have an idea of what it might feel like, what it might look like, but it's so much more when you get on the ice uh, with the players, as you know. Uh, you know the the pure joy in uh, people's faces, not just your players, but their families, who are uh, you know always part of the. Uh, the journey and the accomplishment and, uh, you know, the hockey operations people, George McPhee, Bill Foley, Carol, uh, his wife, Carol, you know, my family uh, were all there. It was really uh, almost overwhelming that first uh, night. And then everything was so well planned by the organization. We had a place to go, uh, you know, the dressing room. Then we had a place to go in the arena. Then we had a place to go uh, at one of the nearby casinos. And then, you know, the work that went into the parade, the players all went to Montana for uh, a quick 24 hour trip, took their wives uh, up there. So it just was, uh, you know, it just was tremendous from the time uh, that game ended. And of course, you know, as a manager, you're not uh, focusing on any of that. You're you know, almost avoiding uh, having any uh, kind of thoughts about what happens next. So the fact that the organization had done so much work on it really uh, made it easy to enjoy and, uh, and be part of. When you look back at the, how you got here, the course of shaping the roster and all the rest, you guys had to make some tough decisions with player personnel. How do you look back? How do you feel about those moves now looking back at them and having it paid off? I feel the same way about them now that I did then. Uh, quite frankly, I think the one thing that we uh, have done really well is um, we've got a, you know, a real uh, conviction in the vision that we had for what a championship team needs to look like, and we had a real uh, burning desire uh, to win. So that's uh, uh, that's uh, that's from uh, George McPhee and Kelly McCrimmon. That's not coming from Bill Foley, who. You know, said uh, at the outset he wanted to win a Stanley Cup in six uh, six years. I think some people felt, uh, you know, that was uh, sort of how uh, we did our business based on that. It wasn't at all, and uh, you know, it was uh, I guess gratifying for uh, the you know the pro scouts that have a big hand in this, our hockey operations, which have uh, a lot of input, and then uh, of course George uh, and myself, who've been uh, been part of it since day one. Most of those people have been part of it since day one, so. It was uh, rewarding and gratifying, but I think uh, um, you know the moves we made, we made for uh, uh, for the right reasons, and I think that uh, that's part of how our team was successful at the end. We're talking to Stanley Cup champion Kelly McCrimmon, general manager, Vegas Golden Knights. You know, Kelly, your team kind of squashed that term, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas because of uh, Instagram and Twitter. We get to watch it all. Mm -hmm from afar and i gotta be honest with you man sometimes i'm watching and i gotta feel i got a feeling that it, it might be a little nervous for you watching your players celebrate um and i'm just wondering uh you know what's that what's that like um you know hopefully uh it's all in it's all good it's all safe but is there a part of you that gets a little nervous watching this thing unfold uh, it's a problem I'd love to have again next year, Nick, uh, <laughs> to be honest. I, uh, Can you find I Willie, thought, uh, William Carlson a shirt? <laughs> well, I said in an interview earlier uh, today, uh, his nickname uh, through his career has been Wild Bill because he's the exact opposite of that. He's probably the quietest guy uh, on our team. And, uh, of course, when he grabbed the mic and he's that close to the edge of the stage, you get a little bit nervous that, uh, uh, he might fall right into the crowd. You're more than a little bit nervous at what he might say next. And when it was all said and done, I thought, uh, I thought he pulled it off, uh, pretty darn well. He, uh, he had a good message. He introduced his, uh, longtime teammate, uh, Jonathan Marshall. So, and, 
uh, no question uh, who the star of the show was in the eyes of our fans. It was uh, it was William Carlson on that night. So Kelly, when teams uh, around the league uh, around the league look at who won the Stanley Cup, they always want to play copycat, and sometimes they want to get bigger, like the the Cup champs, or faster, or whatever it may be. You know, when you look at your own roster, what would other teams look at it and take away? What were the you know what's the core at the core of the makeup that got you guys over the top? Well, along the way, we had worked to uh, put real key people in uh, in the real important positions. Your number one D, your number one center. I think those were moves that were, um, you know, really important with uh, Petrangelo and then the trade for Jack Eichel. So, um, you know, you need those types of players to win a championship. I think when you look, uh, you know, past that, I'd add Mark Stone uh, to that group as well for what he means to our team. And then when you look past that. I think it was just the incredible depth and uh, the performances of, um, you know, our, our fourth line, our, our third pair of D. When you look at our D uh, time on ice, the difference between the number one D and the number six D was about three minutes. And uh, the responsibility that John Stevens gave uh, those players, when you look at uh, the forward lines, it was the same thing. We rarely had a forward touch 20 minutes. Um, you know, Nick Waugh's line, which uh, we would call our fourth line, uh, would always be over 10. Nick Waugh would be closer to 15 because of his work on special teams. And it, it really put us in a position where, um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of different players took turns seizing the big moments, which to me took, um, you know, pressure off any one player individually and, uh, and spread it across the collective. And I really felt... Uh, you know, we've had other years where uh, we went to the conference final and we, we ended up not being able to score enough. And uh, this time we were able to score and uh, have real balance offensively across our forward lines, each line. Uh, we had a 10-goal scorer on, uh, on our first three lines, which is pretty rare uh, in the Stanley Cup playoffs. So I think that spoke to the type of balance and depth that, uh, that we had uh, at all positions. Kelly, one more before I let you go, and uh, I kind of feel bad for you. There's not enough uh, hours or, or weeks to celebrate. You're, you got to go back to work. There's the buyout period. There's the draft, free agency. Um, you got to go back to work here. And where would like a guy like Aiden Hill be on a priority list of trying to get him signed before UFA? Well, we won on Tuesday, Nick, last Tuesday, a week ago. And uh, Wednesday, I uh, was only in the office probably for a couple of hours. And it was more just to uh, reminisce with the other people that were there and talk about the night before. And I can say we did absolutely no work uh, that day. And yet uh, the following day, by Thursday, you know, uh, you're beginning to, uh, to get back at it. And we've now... Uh, you know, work straight through as we get ready for next week's draft. Of course, free agency, as you touch on, we've got some free agents of our own that uh, we'll uh, want to meet with to sort out where uh, where we are there. We only have one RFA in, uh, in Brett Howden. So, you know, we're hopeful that we're going to be able to return uh, the core of our team, uh, you know, maybe a little bit more fortunate in that regard than some of the past champions have been just with the, you know, with the restraints that the salary cap uh, puts on teams so that's uh, uh yeah there wasn't a long time to put our feet up and yet you've always just got that uh, uh that great feeling of the accomplishment of your uh, of your organization so that part was uh will always be with us and uh, we'll get some time here over the course of the summer to reflect when we get our day with the cup and that type of thing but for now we've got to get back uh, get back to work here preparing for the next uh, the next couple of weeks 